Hello everyone. Uh, I'm creating this video uh, in order to, um, I would say, discuss about the red team, blue team, and purple teams uh, based on some of the uh, requests uh, by my uh, friends and students. So, um, Without further delay, let's um, talk about this red team, blue team, and purple team. Okay, so uh, let's look at the basic. Uh, red team, blue team exercises take their names from the military, uh, what do you call this, um, exercises, okay? Uh, based on what they have created. The idea is simple. One group will do the uh, attack and another group will actually do the defense. So it's actually attack and defense. Now, uh, the exercises were used by mostly military to test the force readiness. So to make sure that they are ready to uh, tackle the attack, right? Now, the latest one, uh, Purple Team, uh, I would say is the latest trend, uh, which is also known as the Advanced Penetration Testing, uh, that requires you to have the uh, deep level of security intended for a mature InfoSec program. Okay, so if your uh, organization is quite mature, then you could actually add Purple Team or purple teaming in your uh, information security program. Now, this uh, slide, uh, I mean, the uh, picture is actually taken from uh, the internet. So uh, this uh, graph actually shows you about the differences between red team, purple team, and the blue team. So let's uh, focus on the red team which uh, is normally uh, focuses on the offensive security. So attack, ethical hacking, uh, they do uh, exploit vulnerabilities, they do penetration testing for uh, application, network infrastructure, with different type of testing like black box testing, perhaps like uh, you know uh, blind uh, testing. Uh, they also do social engineering and then um, other type of uh, Testings, uh, which could might most likely be uh, related to black box testing, uh, which is normally does not uh, have the uh, uh, what do you call this information given by the uh, target. Now move on to the blue team. Now blue team uh, known as the defender. They are actually doing the defensive security. Uh, they do uh, protection uh, of the infrastructure, they do damage control, uh, they do incident response. So, for example, like uh, if you're studying like SISA in, uh, in a CompTIA program or maybe like uh, Easy Council certified incident handler, they handle this incident response, disaster recovery, digital forensic. They also do the uh, operational security that includes the separation of duties, uh, maybe like uh, mandatorification. They do threat hunting and you know bunch of uh, computer or digital forensics. So uh, that's about the blue team. Now, how about the purple team? Purple teams facilitate improvement in detection and defense that were actually uh, brought by the red team and the blue team. They also uh, helps to sharpen the skill of you know, both teams, the red team and blue team, and also helps to effectively uh, check for the uh, systems and uh, security in the enterprise. Uh, now, so uh, basically, red team, blue team work together with the purple, purple team, which also might include the, uh, the research and development done by the purple team. Okay, so uh, uh, both uh, will be both team, uh, red team and blue team will be supported by purple team to enhance the 
security of the enterprise. So you can see the, uh, I would say the path, it starts from a compromised host that will illuminate and assume breach of zero knowledge and then red team will uh, come up uh, and exercise the tactics to identify and exploit vulnerabilities. Uh, then the blue team will do the exercises related to the uh, tactics, techniques, and procedures, or also known as TTP, against the simulated attacker in its uh, their own environment, in order to actually evaluate detection and response control. Okay, so red team attack, blue team defense, then purple team will uh, help in terms of the result from the two teams so the result of the red team and blue team exercises will be combined by the purple team that will actually help to uh, get the lesson learned uh, increase capability maturity and enhance the technologies and processes so basically what they have learned from the red team and blue team exercises will uh, be the result that will uh, be very helpful for the purple team in, uh, in order to actually enhance the uh, the people, the process, and the technologies. Okay, so basically they work together, right? As you can see here, <laughs> nice, yeah. <clears throat> so um, in terms of the infosec will, you can see that not only the red team blue team and purple team we might have or some organization might have like green team that will enhance security automation yeah, so more about automation with design and code like for example secure sdlc automated you know uh code scanning uh, uh vulnerability detection yeah and they might also have this yellow team that will focus on the uh coding the architects the builders and then uh, the orange team that will facilitate interaction and education so the complete team will actually have oh i forgot to mention there is also a white team that will analyze uh, com uh to the compliance and regulation yeah uh, logistic management some of the organizations uh, might use the term grc team uh, known for governance risk and compliance that might be also the part of the white team yeah so depending on the organization you might see uh, this type of you know uh, colored teams that might include red team blue team purple team green team yellow team and white team all right so that's the end of my presentation so uh I believe now you can actually uh, differentiate between the red team, the blue team, and the purple team. Okay. For the meantime, we just focus on the red team, blue team, and purple team. Again, it is not limited to the uh, these teams, uh, red team, blue team, and purple team. Some organization might enhance their uh, information security to have other teams such as the green, yellow, orange, and white. All right. Hope this will be uh, very useful for you to understand about the information security and the uh, team exercises. Thank you very much for your attention and see you next time.